So Mary Jane, you got to tell me, how did you end up with the Apollo 11 astronaut autographs? I got all three of the Apollo 11 astronaut autographs. But Michael Collins, I, I have to first tell a story. So when I graduated from college with a degree in astronomy, I was being interviewed for the job at the new National Air and Space Museum. This is 1974. It's under construction. Michael Collins was the director of the museum. So, the first so, director. Yeah. The first director. So I'm being interviewed to be the planetarium director at the, at the, at the new planetarium at the National Air and Space Museum. I go to the interview, and the, some other guys interview me, and they go, okay, now you're going to be, now you'll have the interview with Michael Collins, the director of the museum. I'm like, well, the Michael Collins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went to the moon? <laughs> okay, I can do this interview. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I was interviewed by Michael Collins. I'm in his office, and I'm like, yes, I, I know I can do it. I can really write really good shows. <laughs> what was it like to go to the moon? <laughs> so I didn't get the job. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, but did you get his autograph then? I was too enthusiastic. No, no, no. No, I got that, but I had to tell that story first. So, um, so I, I go to Kansas. So now I'm in Denver, and I'm writing a little pre-show for Dream is Alive because it, uh, it's a little, little short. And I, no, what's up, Dream is Alive? I was opening to fly at the the opening of the Denver Museum in 1983. And I had to do a little slideshow to, to lengthen the whole program. And so I wanted Neil Armstrong to narrate this little slideshow. And the president of the board of the Denver Museum of Natural History was a friend of Neil Armstrong's. So he goes, oh, all right, Neil. And um, so I, 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 his name was Charlie, Charlie Gates. I go, oh, Mr. Gates, you, you know Neil Armstrong. Armstrong. Well, I want to ask him to narrate my little show. Okay, so he gives me Neil Armstrong's address. I write Neil Armstrong. Dear Mr. Armstrong, would you narrate a show? And he writes back a really nice letter. Dear Mr. Neil Armstrong? No, no, I'm sorry, I don't do those things. But he signed the letter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, when I'm going to my next job, from, I'm now I'm going to the Boston Museum of Science. I'm going through my files. Oh, look at this! I'm taking this with me. <laughs> so I left a copy for the museum. But you took the original. I took the original to Boston. So I got, now I got Neil Armstrong. So now while I'm in Boston, we formed the Museum Film Network. The, the Roger Nichols said, let's 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 pull. Let's get a bunch of museums museums together. Pull our money. What and year make, is this? This is 1987. We created the Museum Film Network, and there was about 10 or 12 museums: us, Chicago, San Diego. We all pull our money and make films. So the first film is going to be in Moscow. I mean, uh, it's going to be to the limit. <clears throat> and we're filming in Moscow, and Greg McGillivray is the director, so I, I got to be with Greg. So I was doing the, the marketing for the Museum Film Network. So I went to Moscow to do the marketing and get the international PR. I am in the Moscow airport. In 1987. 1987. 88, Michael Collins is on my flight. Oh my. He's sitting in the Moscow airport. Nobody knows who he is. Like you do. I do. I'm sitting going, that's Michael Collins. So I go, who do I have? So I find a white piece of paper. I go up to go, Mr. Collins, I'm sure you don't remember me. You didn't hire me because I was too You interviewed me when I was long, long, long time ago, but that's okay. I didn't get the job, that's okay. But now I'm here, what are you doing here? And I go, can I have your autograph? <laughs> so he, he signed, he signed a piece of paper. How cool. That is awesome. So in Buzz, how did you get Buzz? Buzz was quite a bit longer, it was a book signing. Easy. Yeah, that was the easy, easy one. The easy one just got his, his signature. So I have all three Apollo 11 astronauts. And I remember the anniversary of the 40th anniversary. Neil Armstrong's autograph sold for, for $10,000. Oh, wow.
but it was it was a personal check that he signed for somebody on July 20th. That's gonna come to nine. Wow. Wow. Uh oh. Good title. This is the sort of thing you only get if you come to the GSC. Yes. Yes. <laughs>